All right, what's up everybody and welcome back to A Noob's Guide to Hyperland. In today's edition to A Noob's Guide to Hyperland, we're going to modify and update SDDM. That is the Simple Desktop Display Manager. It is the login screen that you see here upon uh, installing Hyperland for the first time. And to me, this just feels a little too blah, a little too bland, a little too lacking in personality, and to be honest with you, just a little too corporate and I don't like that so we're going to spice it up and hopefully you'll like it we'll be able to change the theme as well as the theme's background image so that you can kind of personalize it to your liking so as always I'm going to have my virtual machine here on the right we're going to do it a little bit differently so that you can still see the virtual machine in real time but I'm actually going to modify it via SSH in my terminal here on the left so you'll be able to watch this happen you'll see exactly how to do it and the effect that it has uh, in real time so go ahead and log into your computer, your laptop, your virtual machine, and we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is sudo pacman dash capital S. This is the installation command. We're going to uh, install base, devel, git, and make. These are the prerequisites for uh, doing pretty much anything with Git. So go ahead and install those. You can see I've already got it done. I'm going to proceed, which will reinstall all of those packages. I'm going to clear my terminal with Control L. And what we want to do is I use the Yay package manager more often than not. I just, uh, yeah, just do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I Googled that if you didn't notice. Yay Arch Linux. It's the second one here. Yay. If you scroll down, there's going to be a convenient little installation uh, command here, and you're going to just click this little option here to copy it. We'll go back to our terminal and paste it. We're going to press Enter. It will then git clone the yay repo. It will change directory to the yay repo, and then it will make package and build and compile yay on your system. So then you'll have not just uh, Pac-Man, but you can also install with yay. And So we're going to go ahead and input our password we're gonna install yay and now we have it installed so now it gets really easy all we're gonna do is yay dash capital S SDDM theme sugar candy and when we press enter it's gonna look for that it's gonna find it we're gonna go ahead and press enter and enter which will then proceed to install the sugar candy theme on our system uh, go ahead and proceed Shouldn't take but a moment. We're going to go ahead and control L to clear our terminal. And now that we have SDDM themes uh, sugar candy, we're going to go ahead and sudo nano etc sddm.conf, press enter, and we're going to put in square brackets with a capital T theme. And we're going to set current with capital C equals sugar candy with a capital S. And a capital C. Going to go ahead and uh, Control S to save, Control X to close. And now, if we sudo kill all SDDM, don't do this while you're watching this video. If you're on the system that you're doing this to, because it's going to just restart your entire session. Uh, when we do that, you'll see that we now have a brand new set up on our login manager it looks so much better in my opinion it's absolutely gorgeous and you might be happy with this this is a really good setup if you are happy with that go ahead and leave it but if you would like to add that extra personal touch and there's a lot of stuff that you can do here um, you can install uh, your own image and what we're going to do there in order to do that is I already have an image in mind, so I'm going to ls, and you can see here that I have the R uh, Aonix logo dot png. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cd user share sddm themes sh sugar candy backgrounds, boom. And so now, if I ls, you can see that we have the mountain JPG in this directory. So we can confirm that this is where uh, SDDM is pulling the sugar candy theme background image. So all we're going to want to do is copy this path right here. And we're going to go back to where our Aonix logo PNG or your chosen background image is at. And we're going to go sudo cp. Aonix logo, my image or your image name, and then we're going to paste the path directory. So now we can go back to that directory and see that we have 
Aonix logo PNG. So how do we set that? We're going to go CD period period or dot dot, which will bring us back one directory. And now we are in the base directory of the sugar candy theme. And now all we want to do is sudo nano theme dot conf. And we're going to go down to this first line where it says background equals backgrounds mountain JPG. And we're going to change that to Aonix logo dot PNG. We're going to save. Um, just while we're here, this is the theme.conf. So here you can change your dimming. You can dim the background image. You can scale the image. You can screen it, set your screen width and all of that stuff, your blur settings. So you can, you can use this configuration file to customize everything from text to, you know, transparencies and blurs, rounded corners, and so on and so forth. You can look at that on your own now that you know where it's at, but for the sake of saving you the time, I'm going to go ahead and just control S to save, control X to close, pseudo uh, kill all SDDM, and now we have our custom imaged background on SDDM. And there you go. You have customized SDM to your liking. Excuse me, SDDM to your liking. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like. Consider subscribing. If you are watching this video and you're wanting to get into either Arch Linux or Hyperland, I highly recommend you start at the beginning of this playlist. I have a family-friendly version as well as the Smexy version. I'm kind of blurring the lines here because I don't really have the time to make both versions anymore. So I'm just kind of adding them all together at this point. But my goal is to make this the easiest, most accessible version of uh, getting into Hyperland that you can. So appreciate you watching. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you in the next one.